Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Greg Tech New Horizons, and I made the signs nice. <laughs> I used all the fancy signs for all the signs, so now there's extra space for messages. There's more space. Also, I, in preparation, I dug out this whole area below my base for cable management for pipes and stuff, so in the future that's going to be a lot nicer. And the plan for this episode I have is... I'm tired of eating. I'm tired of this. I'm tired of all this stuff. I don't want to eat no more. Uh, in order to fix that, you need... Okay, in uh, fishing, farming, and cooking, there is the hunger no more quest. Where? I still need nether gardens. I still need two stacks each of firm tofu and silken tofu. As well as 15 more delighted meals, 20 hearty breakfasts, 15 more... Rainbow curry, 20 supreme pizzas, 16 supreme sausage, uh, I mean 16 sausage and a bread, and 17 more beef wellingtons. And that's going to give me a healing axe, which essentially is uh, a tool, which I, if I hold, I have no more hunger. Uh, so that's that's the goal for this for this episode. It might be a bit shorter than, than the previous episode, but honestly, after the after the, this one, I would rather have a shorter episode than a longer one, so we'll see how that goes. Yeah, I, I finished making this, but I haven't used it yet, which is kind of weird because I, I rushed finishing it and then I didn't use it at all. Might do this episode, might not. We'll see what happens. In order to finish the all the things, I've collected everything I need here and using separators like this. So this is for the 15 foods. This is for the 20 foods. I've done all the math here. So for the gardens, I have five gardens. Burning blossoms. I need two burning blossoms and the gardens. That's it. I've collected every, sing every, every, every other component needed. So I just need three gardens and one burning blossom. In order to do that, I need to go to the nether. I did actually prepare some stuff before for going into the nether. I made a bronze cleaver and I made a rapier as well as a crossbow. So... I can actually shoot. I made some steel bolts, and I should be able to defend myself now. Previously, I did not have much stuff to defend myself with. So, should be pretty easy. Go to the nether, collect some stuff, and get back out. Okay, hello, pigman. I do not want to anger you, so I'm gonna go this way, I think. As, yeah, yeah this should be fine. I don't know what's aggressive and what's not. Like, are you aggressive? Hello? I don't think you're aggressive. You look pretty passive. Okay. So, yeah. I need these things. Nope. Those are glow flowers. Don't need them. Burning blossoms here. Burning blossoms. I will get you. That burns. Okay, cool. I think... I don't remember how many I said I need. I'm just going to grab everything I see here. This should be enough. And the gardens. Yeah, this is pretty nice. There's no mobs around, which is nice. Not an issue. Eight gardens. That should be everything I need for that. And <laughs> that was a great expedition. And I just get it back. I kind of want to see how good my crossbow is, actually. So I have the arrows in here. And I have an arrow loaded. So let's see. And I missed. My aim is amazing. Alright, two shots. Missed. Three shots. Four shots. How much health do you have? Oh, quite a lot. Five shots. And six shots. Okay, well. Gonna be honest, not the best. <laughs> not the best, but... I guess it works for, for my purposes. Yeah, and that's everything I needed. Mm, that was quick, okay. Alright, back at my base. So, with this, I should be able to complete this one. Detect, yep, eight nether gardens gone. I guess I can put some stuff away before I do this, because I'm gonna need space. Okay, so I needed only two burning blossoms for the 15 here. So now I should be able to make start making the food items I need. Let's see. The first one 
I'm going to skip these. So the first one is going to be the 15 delighted meals. Let's favorite this recipe. To do this, you need smoothies. And I choose to do strawberry smoothies because I think they're easier for me because I'm just farming a lot of strawberries. The recipe is a soft mallet and a snowball and some fruit. So this, this, and this. Yep. Smoothies. And that's 15 smoothies. So what else do you need for this? You need fries. And fries are just potato, salt, and a rolling pin. So potato, uh, not this, salt. I don't like that sound. So this, this, and a rolling pin. That's fries. 15 fries, very nice. What else? The deluxe burger, which is lettuce, tomato, and a cheeseburger. And for that one, you need a hamburger. And for that one, you need raw beef toast and a skillet so raw beef toast tomatoes and lettuce are gonna need later and as well salt with soy milk which can make cheese start with the skillet beef toast makes hamburgers from these you make cheeseburgers and to do that you need cheese not this recipe this recipe which is a pot some soy milk some salt makes a bunch of cheese from this, you can make the cheeseburgers. From this, you can make the deluxe cheeseburgers. And from this, you should be able to make the delighted meals. And I will, in fact, do it right now. Detect the submit. There we go, 20. The next recipe, the hearty breakfast. And I think I'll just grab all these things first, right away. <clears throat> so I don't have to keep looking back in the chest. What do you need? You need fried eggs, you need potato cakes, and you need meat, and you need toast, and some juice. I think the fried egg was just a skillet, and eggs. Yes. 20 fried eggs. Potato cakes are onion, butter, and potato. So butter is heavy cream, which is pretty easy, should be. Yeah. Mixing bowl and a s mix mi mixing bowl and soy milk. So I do this, I do that. Get the cream, get the butter which is with a saucepan which is butter and then i can make the potato cakes 20 of those and then i should be able to make this no i still need meat oh it needs to be cooked meat okay there we go okay that's the 20 steaks and if i go here i should be able to make this why can I not make it? It says cooked pork chop. Does it need to be a pork chop? Okay. Okay, I should be able to do this, right? If I just mortar it. Yeah. Or macerate it? Hold on. Yeah. I can I can just uh, macerate it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Time to macerate the steak, I guess. Uh, this does not sound tasty at all, but... It's gonna make mince meat. Okay, it's making the sound still, but it's done. So, 20 cooked meat. Minced meat. So, then the only thing I need to do is combine all of this. And look at this food. Dairy, grain, protein, vegetable, 4.1% for each meal. A nourishing feast. Amazing. I will make it all and immediately detect submit. And it's gone. <laughs> okay. Now, this chest is done. Let's proceed to this one rainbow curry which i have everything else in my inventory except for this curry rice and should be pretty easy i just need coconut milk right so i need 15 so soft mallet there we go it's 15 coconut milk ah no let's make the curry rice 15 of that and then this there we go 15 rainbow curry. Submit that. 20 supreme pizzas. This one is a bit more convoluted of a crafting recipe, if I remember correctly. So for this one, I'm going to need cheese. So let's make that first, I think. It's going to be this, that, and that. No, it's going to be this plus a mixing bowl to make heavy cream. Actually, I don't want to make the mistake. Hold on, let's see. So to make the pizza, you need cheese. Make this cheese. It is soy milk, 
salt and a pot. Yeah, I was I almost made the mistake. So pot, so no cheese. There we go. Cheese achieved. Very good. So I have all these things. I just need the pizza. And to make the pizza, you need a raw pork chop or tofu. How do I keep how how do I make this mistake? Where I need raw meat. And I think, oh well, beef is gonna work. No, you need pork. Specifically pork. I mean, I should have pork anyways, but yeah, there's definitely 20 pork here. Okay, now that I have the 20 pork, I should be able to make all these pizzas with more rolling pins. Hopefully this is good enough. This is going to be enough? No? Okay, I need more rolling pins. How do you make rolling pins? Oh, it doesn't work with iron? <sighs> God. Sure, I'll make it out of wood. Why not? I mean, I won't need to keep making them, so I don't really care. It would be really annoying otherwise. Okay, now I have all the pizzas. And to make it into Supreme Pizzas, it should be very simple. Just do that. And that's the 20 Supreme Pizzas. There we go. Now I need the sausage and the... Sausage? Sausage? What is it? Sausage and bread. Okay. But to do this, you need bread, you need maple sausage, ketchup, and onions. I have the bread, I have the onions. To make this, you, to make the maple sausage, you need spice leaf, mincemeat, and maple syrup. The maple syrup usually would be a problem, but I'm in a biome where the maple trees just spawn naturally, so... That was no, not an issue, because you get it from maple wood. That was actually one of the nice things about my base location. Turns out I have maple, maple trees next to me. And the last thing I need is just ketchup, which is smashing some tomatoes. And with some soft mallets. There we go. And that's everything I need. Sausage and bread. 16 of these. Detect submit. That's all complete. Now just the beef wellingtons are left. The recipe for them is like this. Which is really, really simple. Get this. And claim. These are all the fancy meals now done. And the last things I just need to do is get firm tofu and silicon tofu. To get firm tofu, it is wet tofu, which actually takes a long time to make. I actually made a special machine over here. I made this mixer, which of course later can be used for other things, but <laughs> mainly the thing I used for it was to get wet tofu, which normally would be one soybean and one water bucket makes one wet tofu, which would take forever to make manually. So, I chose to do the mixer path, which was one soybean, some, some water, and one recipe takes 20 seconds. And I needed to do this for four stacks. It took a while. Don't, I don't, I don't recommend doing this, uh, manually. Use this. <laughs> so, I got all the tofu for that. I just need to process it a bit more to make firm tofu. And also, silken tofu is just firm tofu with a rolling pin. So... I guess all of it needs to be made into firm tofu. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if I can even do this with the stuff we have. So, firm tofu. One thing makes 16. Yeah, that's not that much. I'm going to need a lot of these soft mallets. That's a not great sound. Do not appreciate that. Make some more soft mallets if I can. Two stacks done. Alright. Four stacks of firm tofu. Submit this to complete that. Now I just need the silken tofu, which is a rolling pin, and firm tofu. So I do this with a rolling pin. Wait. Firm tofu straight makes into fish? Game, I don't think that's how physics works. I don't think that's proper, but it's a game. I guess it's a substitute, but yikes. Alright, well, I need more rolling pins. For sure. I need... well... So you need four for a whole stack, so I need three more. One, two, three. More of this into there. Into there, into there, into there. And there we go. Two stacks of silk and tofu as well. That should be everything now. Yes. 
now I can claim the healing axe. Let's go! Hunger no more! And if you look at my hunger, it's on two and a half uh, missing right now. And if I hold it, it's it's starting to go back up to full. So, there we go. No more eating manually. I can just hold this axe. And the best part is, even the saturation just goes up as well. So, if I'm just walking around my base, not doing anything, just like opening chests and looking at stuff, as you most of the time you have to do. Um, if you just hold the axe while doing so, it also fills up uh, the saturation. So whenever you do have to switch off and do some manual work, you already have some buffer for uh, hunger. So the healing axe is amazing. I can, I'll keep the lunchbox because I have a lot of food in here and it can be useful whenever you do like a lot of work at once. A lot of mining at once, for example. But I'll definitely just keep it on the ninth slot and use it whenever I need. No more food. Hooray. I'll just put this stuff in here and figure all this stuff out later. So that didn't take that long. I guess good planning really helps. Because I did prepare all this stuff beforehand. It was a lot of uh, looking back and forth. The only thing I needed to go get, like in the world, was coconut. And I think, yeah, I traveled to this biome here, this this area here, to get coconut. I I don't know why, but my my tropical area here did not have coconut. I guess I just got unlucky, or maybe I didn't notice. But in this biome, it should spawn, but it just didn't. So I had to travel all the way here. But after you get, find one, you just need to bone meal and get like infinite coconuts, and then you can make trees. So not an issue. One of the things I definitely want to do now is add another sign to the subscriber wall. Let's see. Let's get some fancy signs. Oh, look, look at my hunger. It's so nice. I don't need to worry about it. That's so good. I love this. I really... Maybe I should have done this even sooner. But I guess it, if I did this sooner, I would not appreciate how good it is now. So maybe this is the perfect time to do it. <laughs> So, if you just want to appreciate the signs for a moment, I can I can do this and just look at them. You can see all the people that have uh, commented that wanted the sign put up. And if you want a sign put up, just comment. Say what the name you want to go by is. And then the message in quotes. And also subscribe if you want to do that, because this is the subscriber wall. Alright, let's put the new newest uh, comments in. I guess I can actually put all the signs here. So you can see there's five more signs left in this wall. So at some point I might have to start doing this. I don't know how I'll do this. I'll figure it out later. This comment is starting to be very much accurate. <laughs> okay. So the next sign is by this user. You didn't specify any name you want to go by. So I just used whatever you had on YouTube. Sorry if this is not what you want. Uh, message me, I'll fix it if you want. Uh, quality content, click or Gregorius T will Greg you. Which is definitely a very greg tech thing to say. <laughs> Alright, the next sign is by at 3 zknos 720 Again, the same thing. Didn't specify a name you want to go by, but if you want to change it, I'll say I'll change it. Uh, hey you, yes you, follow comrade. You should have a good day. Very nice. Very good message. Very positive. Okay, so the next comment is by Tetsoro. Tetsoro? Tetsoro. Uh, me when sign size is lim- Oh my god. Me when, me when sign space is limit. So, thanks for your message. Very cool. I actually- Actually changed it just a tiny, tiny bit, but I think this is funnier. I had to make the text actually bigger. Alright, one that I'm actually... I mean, he didn't say to put him in the sign. But I do kind of feel like I should, because the person that actually inspired and like got me to play GTNH and record and put this on YouTube is Threefold, and he actually posted a comment on my video, so I should put this on the sign. So... The comment was made by Threefold. Very nice. EBF is a big milestone in the game. Smiley face. So, yeah. Actually, I started making YouTube videos because I just enjoyed Threefold's videos. 
uh, I, I watched this whole season one of uh, GTNH and I felt like I should do the same. <laughs> so big thanks for the comment. And the last one is by Andre Luis. Uh, you grind so hard that you've reached the Brazilian viewer. <laughs> so I guess that's that's something. That's cool. <laughs> thanks thanks for all the comments and uh, I'm much appreciated. Thanks for thanks for watching. Okay. I think I have enough time in this episode to also adjust some of my machines here. Uh, I did change some things. I moved the chest down so that I can use conveyor belts. Yeah, so that I could use these conveyor modules uh, instead of using hoppers, which saves me once one block of space. So I can actually put the items up here to indicate what machine this is for. So. Yeah, I make plates here, and I make rods here, and I make wire stuff here. Extruder, and etc. So, I moved all this down. It, it does take up a slot here. The conveyor module takes up a slot, and also you have to craft it. So, it is, it is I think, cheaper than hoppers. Since I had a bunch of hoppers already, I just used them. But uh, I think, I, think I, I prefer how this looks over what it was before. And... I do want to upgrade the machines here to steam power, electricity power, I mean. So, I'm not sure how to do it. So, I will just rip this out. Get my wrench and wire cutters and start ripping. Time for a redesign. I don't know if I like the way these are positioned right now. I feel like I want to figure out a better spacing. That looks nice. Hmm. So what is the spacing here? If I do every three blocks like this, that works for this. If I do that. As a stand-in for the machine itself, I'm going to use this qubits thing that represents a machine. So, if I want the outputs over here, machines over here, these things here, and stuff above, this looks okay, but it is completely flat. And I think that doesn't look that great because it's flat. So, what instead I could do is I could push it back a bit something like this have the machines just go on top and i think that looks better but what if i do these ones as diagonals so I do this make them go like that that already looks cooler and then maybe over here have one that goes like that that looks neat. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that look. I could even put it on the corners here, maybe? The same kind of look. Looking pretty funky. Okay, let's see if I can do the same thing for all of these. Oh, how is this going to work in the corner here? That, that might be a bit of a different situation. But it should be fine. So these ones I placed like this, yeah. And these ones I placed like that, and it looks fine. Yeah, I gotta make sure I place it like there, like there. I'll just fill this in. It'll make it look nicer from the back. Nice pillars. Okay, I'm gonna need a bunch of these chests. Uh, it's just wood planks and chests. I can definitely do that. Assembler with chests. And this, and that should be making a lot of these, let's see. Slightly larger chests, okay, great. 
All right. I'm going to replace these lamps with a nicer spacing. Let's say on this, on this, on that. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. The only thing that's annoying is over here. I would prefer to have it there, but then I don't have it on the corner, which is not the same way I have it on these corners here. So I think I want to keep that there or maybe have them both. This is a bit tricky figuring this out. Do that. Do that, do that. Okay, okay. This is looking nice. I could add some extra decorations possibly with the stripes here. Like here maybe. Um, It doesn't really do much. Is this anything? No. That doesn't look good at all, I don't think. I think this is fine. I just need the machines and the pipes. I guess I can move these over there. That might be nicer. I need a bunch. I need a whole bunch of cabling stuff. So 30 10 cable. Should be able to just go around here. I think a better option, actually, instead of doing this, instead of connecting it all the way around here, I'll be work this side the same way I'm doing it here. And I'll use the eight times here. So there's going to be eight generators along this side for all of these machines here. And I'll do it like this so that every machine gets its own thing. And if any of these machines need any extra stuff, like, for example, uh, one needs water, that machine is going to go like over here let's say and then i can replace this block here and this block here have the pipes go here connect to the machine and then i can put a facade on this so it's gonna be less noticeable like like this well because it doesn't hide it perfectly like it wouldn't be flush like other blocks you could still notice the cover but it's much less noticeable if you have two machines here like that it's just a tiny bit poking out, out. So I feel like this kind of layout could work nicely. The only problem I can see is the fact that I have no space for any visual indications for what kind of things I'm making here. So maybe on the floor here, like let's say I have this plate. I can put it on the floor by holding a pressing V. At least I set it to V. I don't know it's v for everybody but you can set it down on the floor and i can rotate it a bit if i want because i think this is like upside down is this correct so i can put the items on the floor here and have like the bending machine here like the press you know for making plates and then i know i go here to make the plates i think that works so if i put it down does it automatically connect that's a good question it does okay I think if I shift click, then it automatically tries to, tries to connect to the thing. So that should be very easy. Uh, the only thing is I need the uh, generators here. Power gen. I think I'll make four for now over there on that side. So these, how many can I make? Two. Why only two? What am I missing? I'm missing these and I'm missing rotors. Motors, I mean. What else am I missing for these? More tin cables. I can definitely do that. What else do I need for more of these? Nothing. That's... Yeah, just make all that. And then I need to make these. Oh, what am I missing for that? What else am I missing? Oh, this is more steel plates. Oh, yeah, there's two stacks here. And there should be a stack of that. And a whole bunch of fine wire. I'll take that later. All right, that's six of these. Can I make all of it? What, what, what am I else? What am I missing? Steel. Steel. What's, what am I missing? This. Make these. You need that. So I do that. And there we go. That's eight. Very nice. Now the question is, what about the spacing? How do I want to space these out? The very, very middle point is over here. And I will need to rotate it. So like this. And then I can connect it. I think this is the connection here. That should be it. 
I would really like to have this symmetrical. So if I have one in the middle here, I have seven left over. So I need... Oh, no. I can't have it. I can't, I can't have it in the middle. It doesn't work. For symmetrical reasons, it doesn't work. I can definitely have one here. And one here. And then one here. One here. One here. One here. And then the last two can go here and here. Well, it seems like if I just move this over, over by one, like so... I can actually have a really nice spacing. Yeah, this is every one block now. I think I like how this looks way more. So now I just need to rotate them upwards. And my, <laughs> my wrench broke, no! New wrench, new wrench, where's my new wrench? Can I make a new wrench? I can. So now, rotate all of these upwards. Like so. Connect all of these. Okay. And now, if I go here, dig, dig out this. Now I just need to do every other block. I don't know for how long. I guess until I just run out. Like probably here, yeah. If I use these pipes, does it automatically connect? It does. Very nice. So, I do that, I do that. Very good. I want to connect the pipes. I want to connect it. And I can do it like over here, let's say. And connect this. And I want to see. Are they running? Yeah, they're running. Nice. I mean, it can't supply the steam that fast, but it it gets there eventually. Let's put let's put the roof over here because I really, really, really don't want it to get uh, rained on and then explode on my face. That would be bad. Oh, I'm not healing. I'm not holding the axe. Let me hold the axe for a bit. Fill all of this in. All right, and all I need to do now is just connect all the machines I want, and it should be good. I think I want to replicate a system very similar to this over to this side, because the way it is right now is way too cramped. I don't like how, how, how close everything is to everything, so I will definitely do that right now. Oh, I have an idea. For these ones that require some sort of extra stuff, like for example, this fluid extractor takes out a bunch of these fluids, and like like the the assembling machine, for example, needs a bunch of these fluids at some point. I uh, maybe sh maybe I can do this, where I take this out, put another chest here, and instead of using the full forty five degree thing here, I do something different. I do like that which okay that doesn't look that great what about this well I, I did that just now is there a better one so for this one i do that okay yeah this is perfect because yeah i'm gonna need a lot of these cells for this specific machine and there's a lot of cells here already so if i want to move them i just put them in here Okay, I, li I like this solution. This is nice. Because only this one specifically needs it. And if any others need it later, I can also just add, do the same thing. Have another chest at the top. I like that. Very cool. You know what? I'm going to use the dolly that I got from like a crate. Uh, not a crate. A uh, loot bag. Yeah. Should be able to just move this chest with random stuff. 
over to the side for now. Same as this. Okay. This one, yeah, for example, this one is just a bunch of different extruder shapes. So if I go to the extruder, I'm going to have to have it here somewhere. I can do this. Place another chest. And put one of these slopes. Like that. I love that. That's so good. Actually, I'll do this and use the dolly to just take the same one. And put it there. Yes. I'm really liking how this base is starting to look. Can I do something with this corner? The, the problem is that there's this water here. And if I if I if I want to put something there, it doesn't really fit because of the water. Hm. Like a corner corner piece here. Maybe. Let's see. What if I do oh, what if I do oh I have an idea, I have an idea. What if I do it sideways? here mm, not like that oh okay aha uh -huh. yeah so the corner can definitely do yeah 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 I, I, I can do this i can do this this is gonna look cool oh <gasps> it is oh is, is this the perfect block i need please tell me this is the perfect block this is amazing. Okay, that looks cool. I, I, I think I really like that, actually. Now, I just need one machine here. I'm wondering, is there any machine that I haven't made yet that I know I'm going to need that I haven't just made yet? Is that a thing? Also, it seems like, yeah, having the axe is actually giving me perfect nutrition, nu nutrition in all aspects here. So I, I cannot get any debuffs because of like having too little something, which is great. Basic extractor. Sure, sure. Let's make that. I'm missing this here. And I'm missing this here, which needs some more. I need another one of these. And some glass. Two glass pieces makes an extractor. Suction device, nice. And I put it over here. Very nice. Very nice. I need to put something on the floor here. Gotta figure that out. But I think that will come over time. Figuring out what I use most in each machine and what I don't. So I think that will that will do it for this episode. I got the healing axe. I got the machine set up here, cleaned up and looking nice. I really like the way this corner ended up. <laughs> and yeah, I, I, I think this is good. This is good. I'll, I'll end the episode here and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Bye.